Hello, Patsy. My name is Shannon Walker, and I'm an astronaut living on board the International Space Station. It's nice to see you. What? Oh, that's a great idea. Let's talk about women in space today. Patsy, did you know that the first woman in space was from the former Soviet Union? Yes. Her name is Valentina Tereshkova, and she flew in 1963, just two years after the first man flew in space. After this flight, however, it would be almost 20 years before the next woman would fly. Her name is Svetlana Savitskaya. She flew not only twice to space, but she also was the first woman to do a spacewalk. How neat is that? The first American in space was an engineer and physicist named Sally Ride, and she flew in 1983. The first European woman in space was Helen Sharman. She's a British chemist and flew in 1991. The European Space Agency has sent two more female astronauts to space. Claudia Agnari, who has studied medicine, and mechanical engineer and Italian Air Force pilot Samantha Cristoforetti. As you can see, these women are not only astronauts, but they are scientists and engineers. I myself am a physicist. What? Oh, yes, there have been more. If I could tell you about all the trailblazing women in space, our conversation would be so long, Paxi. So instead, let me show you. What an impressive group. Since the beginning of space, so much has changed. Did you know that most of the people working as engineers, scientists, and astronauts were men? Thankfully, over time, this has changed, and today working in the space industry all around the world, it's just another everyday career choice. In fact, as of today, a total of 65 women have flown in space, including me. And this is my second time on the International Space Station. That means for every 10 astronauts who have flown in space, one of them has been a woman. Yes, I agree. Hopefully in this future, this number will be an even split as more girls study STEM studies and take on STEM careers. Wouldn't that be great? Yes. What? Oh, sure, I'll tell them. It is very important that you on Earth aspire to become whomever you want, including astronauts. It is a great thing to have role models that you can look up to who can show that science and engineering are fields for everyone. And right now, we're preparing to send the first woman to the moon. And the astronauts who will be on the first mission to Mars are in school right now. Who knows, one of those astronauts could be you. Being an astronaut is a lot of fun and more people should do it. Thanks for visiting me today, Paxi. I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Bye.